Hello, everyone. Welcome digitally to Northwestern University. My name is Valerie Smith. I'm an Associate Director of Admission here at Northwestern, and I am a graduate of Northwestern School of Education and Social Policy, where I received my master's degree. I'm here today to give you my insight on campus and the admission process, but I'm joined by an undergraduate student expert as well. Hi everyone, my name is Samara. I'm originally from San Francisco, California, and I'm a current fourth year here at Northwestern University. I study theater as my major and art theory and practice as my minor. And when I'm not in class, you can find me up in the garage working on a startup I founded with my friends or on one of the many student theater and film sets on campus. Our goal today is to give you an introduction to Northwestern, to our location, to our academic opportunities, to our community, and to the admission and financial aid process. And our hope is that you'll take this session as a starting point for your college search journey and that you'll then take advantage of all of the other digital opportunities that we provide to help you get to know us on a deeper level. But today, let's start with the basics, and that begins with where we are. Northwestern is located in Evanston, Illinois, a suburb just north of the city of Chicago. And I like to say that Northwestern students get to take advantage of the best of both worlds. The city of Evanston is a vibrant college town. We have a residential campus, lots of green traditional outdoor space, and a beautiful lake that borders uh, from north to south you are going to be able to make a home here. You're gonna live on campus, you're gonna to get to know students and community members in the city of Evanston, and you're going to take advantage of all that the city has to offer. There's a vibrant downtown district just walking distance from campus with everything you need to support day-to-day -day life as a college student. And then you also get to take advantage of the city of Chicago. Chicago uh, borders Evanston immediately to the south. We're about uh, two or three miles from the border and about 10 or 11 miles north of downtown Chicago, depending on exactly where you're going. And students take advantage of Chicago for many different reasons, dining and culture and entertainment, but also internships and research opportunities and other resources that will leverage your personal and your professional growth here. So where we are matters, who we are matters even more. So let's talk a little bit about our student body. Northwestern welcomes students from all over the world to campus. Our undergraduate students, about 8,000 in total, um, hail from all 50 states and more than 95 countries, and they bring with them to our campus every conceivable background and identity and preference and belief system that you can name. So when we talk about wanting to welcome a diverse student body to Northwestern, it's not just so that we can share some of these statistics on a slide. It's because when you come to Northwestern as a student, you will learn as much from your peers and from your classmates as you will from your faculty members, and you will also get to teach them from your own perspective and your own unique background. That kind of, of learning that comes when you get to know your classmates and you get to know them as you're working on meaningful projects together is really transformative. And so we do everything that we can here in our classrooms to support that kind of engagement between you and your classmates. And the first step to doing that is to keeping our classes small. So this is a really personalized academic environment. Most of the classes that you'll be in here at Northwestern are going to enroll fewer than 20 students. And as you can see on the slide, we have a six to one student to faculty ratio. Northwestern is a place where you will get to know your faculty members and they will get to know you. They will become mentors and, and, and sources of support for you throughout your academic journey especially as you're navigating the many, many opportunities that are available to you here through our quarter system. So the quarter system is a really essential part of the Northwestern student experience. And it might seem sort of funny to start by talking about a calendar, but it's essential to everything that we do. I wanna back up for a minute though and talk a little bit more broadly about who we are as an institution. So maybe you know just a little bit about Northwestern and you've heard that we are a research university. That is absolutely true. Um, it is central to our mission that everyone on this campus is able and encouraged to contribute to their field of study in some practical or significant way. We're gonna talk more about undergraduate research as we move through our presentation today, but what that means really is that this is a practical place. It's a place where you're gonna have lots of hands-on opportunities to contribute, um, to work on projects, to discover new knowledge. That's the research part of what we do. What I think might be harder to grasp uh, if you haven't yet done a lot of research is that we are also at our core a liberal arts college. And that's what I wanna talk a little bit about today. 
What that means is that while you can certainly come here and specialize in a field of interest, you are also coming to Northwestern because you're the kind of student who sees value in exploring lots of different interests and activities. Students at Northwestern are liberal arts students because they learn how to learn and how to communicate and how to manage complex projects in all different types of classrooms. So being a liberal arts school means that we preserve a lot of flexibility for you to study interdisciplinary topics, for you to pursue majors and minors that maybe have nothing to do with one another on the surface, and for you to take some time to explore all of those opportunities before you land on an academic path that's right for you. And that brings us back to the quarter system. The quarter system is what makes that possible. So instead of offering two academic terms during a school year, one in the fall and one in the spring, Northwestern offers three academic terms and the fourth quarter is in the summer to round out the model. During the school year, you'll have classes in the fall quarter, the winter quarter, and the spring quarter, and you'll typically take four classes in each of those terms for a total of 12 per year. That means that you're taking a couple of additional classes than you would if we operated on a semester model. Before you X out of this video, because that seems like a terrible deal, let us tell you why that's actually a huge benefit to our students. It means that you get to explore more topics. It means that you get to take advantage of more opportunities in different academic disciplines to make connections that wouldn't otherwise be possible. And that begins by allowing our students full access to explore our six distinct undergraduate schools. So let's talk a little bit about each one of the, what each one of those entails. We'll start with the College of Arts and Sciences. That's the largest undergraduate school on campus. You'll find everything from chemistry to English and creative writing in Weinberg and everything in between. Every student at Northwestern takes classes at Wein, in the Weinberg College of Arts and Sciences at some point during their journey here. And then as you'll see on the screen, surrounding Weinberg, we have five distinct schools, each with a more specialized focus the Beenan School of Music, the School of Communication, the McCormick School of Engineering, the Medill School of Journalism, Media, and Integrated Marketing Communication, and the School of Education and Social Policy. This slide shows each of these six schools as distinct entities, and that's true. In each one, you'll have a home base. So you'll have a major in one of these six schools, and you're gonna find an academic community there with an academic advisor and a team of staff who are there to support you, and classmates who care about many of the same interests and activities as you do. But what you'll also find that this slide can't fully capture is just how much crossover exists within and among all six schools. So you have access to pursue elective classes and minors, and in many cases, double majors or other specialty programs within and across all six schools. These are not silos. You will not come to Northwestern and just eat, sleep, and breathe one academic subject. Instead, you'll be encouraged to branch out and to make those exciting connections across campus. So Samara, I want to ask, can you share a little bit about how students actually do this day in and day out? How do you take advantage of so many different academic opportunities? Absolutely. Just in classes alone, a normal quarter for me looks like I'm having a couple classes in my home school, but a couple classes in Weinberg, maybe a specialty class in Medill or McCormick. Uh, you really just build a course schedule that sounds fun to you. Um, but especially when it comes to academic programs, just thinking about myself, honestly, my home school is the School of Communication, but my minor is in Weinberg. And because of the quarter system and because of that flexibility and exploration, I was able to add and subtract minor all throughout my time here at Northwestern. So at one point, I had an integrated marketing certificate in Medill, and at another point, I was an entrepreneurship minor in McCormick. There's so many ways that you can mix and match the schools and have a holistic Northwestern experience. And this is not a rare story. Every student here has a story like that, where they come to Northwestern and they explore these, this range of opportunities. And that's true when it comes to opportunities outside the classroom as well. Absolutely. Here at Northwestern, we love to focus on experiential learning. So taking what you're getting in your lectures and your discussions and putting them outside the classroom in real world context. So you can do that through research. We have an amazing undergraduate research program with $3.5 million for you to use through grants. Um, we also have a study abroad program 
there's over 150 accredited programs here at Northwestern, and about a third of students will choose to study abroad at their time here. And of course, we have internships. About two thirds, uh, two third of Northwestern students will have one or more internships in their time here, be it with a professor or with a Chicago-based company, or even out across the entire world. We also like to focus on innovation and trying new things, taking risks, um, and seeing how we can develop our ideas even further. My favorite one to highlight here is The Garage. It's near and dear to my heart. I have a company in The Garage, and this is a startup incubator on campus where students can bring their ideas and their skills to either form a company or join an existing student-based company um, to kind of have that experience in the safety net of the university. There's also Studio 22 where students can write, direct, produce, their own films and have a film festival at the end of the year. There are tons of opportunities here just like that. Internships are another popular avenue to expand that experiential learning. As I said, about two-thirds of students have one or more internships at their time here, but we love to boast that 95% uh, of students will be throwing that graduation cap in the air with meaningful work already in hand, meaning they're going to a grad school that they love or they're going into an internship or a job that really matters to them and is what they are passionate about. You can get internships by talking to professors or going to the Northwestern Career Association and you have that lifeline to Northwestern and the Career Association all the way past graduation and into the rest of your life. What I hope you are getting from us so far is that Northwestern is a place of personalization. You can come here with a clear-cut idea of what you want to study and pursue in life. That's great. You can come here with absolutely no idea of what you might want to study or pursue in life, and that is also just fine. You are entering a community where no matter where you fall on that spectrum, you have access to explore those interests in a variety of different contexts, to supplement those academic interests with special experiences outside of class, internships and research and innovation work that help you build real world skills and capitalize on what you're learning in the classroom. And then you have the support to launch after graduation and pursue meaningful work that's a great match for you, for your values, and for the skills that you've identified and honed while you're here. No two Northwestern experiences look alike. And I think that that's a good thing to know. That, that adds a lot of diversity and energy and excitement to our student body because the folks that you're sitting with next to in class are going to have very different perspectives and very different goals. Um, and that's a really uh, central piece of the learning environment and also of the community more broadly. So we've talked a lot about academics, we've talked a lot about job preparation, and now we're gonna switch gears and talk about all the life that happens outside of class. Absolutely. I love to talk about Northwestern's community. Uh, we are a tight-knit group here on campus, uh, but you can begin to form that community in your residential experience. So first and second years have a residential experience where they live in dorms. Uh, these are, you know, you can choose between single, doubles, triples. They're co-ed. You have your shared bathroom. It's exactly like the movies. Uh, <laughs> but we love to have uh, highlight our programming in these dorms uh, from things like High Table, where you can have lunch with a professor alongside the rest of the building residents, or you can do munchies and co uh, coffee hour where they'll bring free food for you and all the people in your area to share, get to know each other, start a conversation, and build relationships. We also love to build community through our traditions. So uh, when you start at orientation, you'll do March Through the Arch, where you and the other first years will march through the arch on campus uh, to the fanfare of the rest of the community. You'll go through Wildcat Welcome that week, where you're paired with students on a similar academic track or who have similar academic interests, as well as an older student who will help guide you through the university in that first week through uh, programs and events, uh, as well as meeting your advisor and picking classes. Is. and they will get you prepped for the rest of the traditions here on campus like painting the rock, attending dance marathon, or going to Dillo Day, the country's largest student-produced uh, music festival that happens right here on campus. Overall, it's an incredibly collaborative culture. We also have over 500 student organizations, ranging from just looking at dance programs alone, Boom Shaka, which is hip hop, it's uh, banging on plastic bins instead of drums and building art that way, to more organized things like the Alice Millar Chapel Choir or one of our chamber orchestras. You can be on the chess club, you can be on the trash talking chess club. There are tons of niches to be filled here at Northwestern. So if you are feeling excited about what you've heard so far, 
We hope you'll continue your research, but we also hope that you'll look into how to apply. And so we're here to share a little bit more about that today. The first piece of the admission process that I want to address is how we think about it and how we practice admissions. And, and here at Northwestern, we use a process called holistic admission. That's a term you are probably going to hear throughout your college search. It can be kind of a confusing one. So I like to try and explain what it really means here for us at Northwestern. And in my mind, there are two pieces to holistic admission. One is that the context of your application matters. We care about where you're coming from. We care about your high school and your community and your family and all of those spaces that have influenced the materials that you're submitting to us. So we are always looking at your application and the materials that you send in light of your environment and the opportunities that have been available to you there. The second rule of holistic admission is that all of those materials matter to us. So when we are reviewing applications, we're considering more than just your academic record. So you'll see some examples on the screen of the other materials that you're submitting to us in the admission process. In addition to the application itself, either the common application or the coalition application, you'll send us your academic record which is your high school transcript and your test scores if you choose to submit them. You'll also have letters of recommendation or support sent on your behalf from folks at your high school, at least one from a counselor and one from a teacher. And finally, you'll write essays. One essay is a standard admission essay that is prompted by the application itself. They'll ask you to select from several different prompts to write about a topic that you care about or feel strongly about. And Northwestern will also ask you to write one additional short answer question that addresses the question, why Northwestern? We're gonna come back to that in just a moment. You're submitting all of these materials on one of two dates. Our early decision round has a deadline in early November. Early decision is also a term that you will hear at other schools as well. That is a binding opportunity to apply to college. You are saying to our admission committee, I've done my research, I've watched the online sessions, I've visited if I'm able to do so. I know that Northwestern is a place where I could really thrive as a student and more importantly as a whole person. If early decision feels right for you, you're submitting those materials to us in early November and you'll have an admission decision by mid to late December. Many students find that regular decision is the right option for them. Regular decision applications are due in early January, and that is a non-binding opportunity to apply to Northwestern. You apply in January, you hear back from us in mid to late March, and you have until May 1 to assess all of your great college options and decide where you'd really like to be the following fall. At Northwestern, we welcome about 2,000 new students every year. About half of them apply and are admitted in our early decision round, and about half of them apply and are admitted in our regular decision round. Let me pause and go back to this why Northwestern question, because as an admission review member, this is one of the most meaningful parts of the application to me. It's where I get a sense of all the great research that you have done throughout the college search process, and it's where I get to know why you think Northwestern is a great fit for you. Um, but I mentioned at the beginning that we have an expert in our midst. So Samara, I wanna ask if you were writing the why Northwestern question or answer today after four years here, what would your answer be? Absolutely, I was really excited about Northwestern and part of the reason I stuck around for four years <laughs> uh, was the holistic learning and the flexibility I had here to explore. I knew I wanted to do theater when I came in. I didn't know that I wanted to do theater as my career or that I wanted to do it forever. I just knew that when I was 18, I wanted to take drama classes. Um, so I was looking forward to a school that would let me try new things, take courses that my high school would uh, never have the space or resources to give um, with so many major and programs to explore here. There's always something new to take every quarter. So I was really excited about that learning opportunity, but I was also really, really interested in the support system that Northwestern has here, whether, whether it be the students who are constantly showing up for each other, to the professors who are really, really excited to form relationships with their students and see them grow and see them graduate and go into the world, um, to the alumni. They call us the Purple Mafia for a reason. <laughs> they're constantly visiting. They're all always around checking out what's new, what's happening on campus, and seeing how they can support students. And I think that has been a, a huge part of my Northwestern uh, time and my Northwestern life. Thanks for sharing. Of course.
That's Samara's Why Northwestern. You are going to have your own, and you should have your own. You don't need to feel like yours should match Samara's perfectly. In a place this diverse, what draws students to Northwestern and what makes them confident that they're gonna thrive here is different for everyone. So that's what we hope you get out of your research and out of the application process as well. Let's talk a little bit about financial aid, a really critical partner to the admission process and an essential consideration for many, many families. We want Northwestern to be an accessible experience for everyone. And so we commit uh, to a robust need-based financial aid program that makes this experience possible. In that financial aid process, we make two really important commitments to families. One, we commit to meeting 100% of demonstrated financial need. What that means is that when you apply for financial aid at Northwestern, you'll submit two forms to the Office of Financial Aid. One is the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. If you're not familiar with that form yet, you will be soon. That's something you will submit to Northwestern or to any other school where you enroll and you're seeking federal financial aid. At Northwestern, we also ask that you submit a secondary form. It's called the CSS Profile. Together, those two forms give us a number. It's called your expected family contribution, or the amount that your family is expected to contribute to your college education every year. Northwestern covers everything beyond that number up to the total cost of attendance. That's the 100% part. That gap is covered in full. And the second commitment that we make is that we have a loan-free financial aid program. So when we fill that gap at 100%, we don't rely on student loans to do so. The money that you are awarded here does not need to be repaid after graduation. Financial aid is an important and also highly personalized process. So as we wrap up here today, we're gonna to provide some additional resources for you to do more research and for you to reach out if you have additional questions. You can scan the QR code that's on your screen now to find out more, to engage in more digital programs, or to contact our office if you have individual questions and you want to learn more. But for now, thank you for listening. Thanks to Samara for being here today, and we hope to see you soon.